Hi, and welcome to the Data Video CG200 training. My name is Tim, and in this lesson, we will be working through the, some of the basic functions of the menu bar and the buttons you see above here, and a little bit of the folders on the side. And so, uh, for the sake of the lesson, we're gonna click on this eyeball here, and this is the preview monitor. So, you click on that, you'll see a preview monitor. So everything you do here, and you play it, you'll see it here, just the preview only. So you kind of get the, um, get the look of what you're trying to do displayed there. If you want to actually output it, you click on the monitor button here and then that'll push it over into your second monitor. And so uh, over here, we have our play, our pause, our end, and our stop. These buttons here control your animation down here. Click on one object, you can play it. It'll play the whole thing unless you right click it and you see play, pause, end, Stop. If I end it, it'll disappear. If I right-click on it now, play, it'll come back again. If I come over here and I go pause, it'll pause just a ticker. I right-click on it and I go resume, and then it'll resume it. If I go to end, it'll animate out. All right. So if I play it now and I go to stop, it'll just kill it. It just disappears. The ending. What it'll do is it'll go through the process of what you have set in the property page and how you want it to animate out. Stopping just kills it. And I have found that ending is far better than stopping. Stopping, sometimes you will have some crashes by stopping it. So I'll end it and then stop if I have to. And so this is these controls here. And then you have your regular menu bars up here. And they're just like what you see here. They're just another way of getting at it. That's all. So on your property page, let's take a look at that again. So I'll just click on an object. You'll see these different things that are settings for this object. So this right here is the object number three. If you push tab, you will be going through the different objects and you'll see it highlight below as I do that. Now it goes down here, number one, number two, number three, number one, number two, number three. So there are three objects in this page, right? So and you can change the order if you want to make that one into a one. I can type in a one. I won't let me do that now, I guess. You got to move it up and down. Sorry. So I got to bring it down. See, now I bring it all the way to the back. So I'm just setting that back in the layer. So now this is your first one. And I tap through it. And that now becomes my third, my ticker. All right. So. These right here are just the ones that come with that video that you can select and you can reverse engineer them to figure out how they did them. And every time you select them, you'll notice down below in this pane, you will see what you're clicking on. It's not a preview monitor, it's just a display. So with that, what we will do in the next lesson is build some of these real simple graphics here by just using the data video CG200.